So we were in London. It was the opening night of a restaurant club type place. Mm -hmm. Leo DiCaprio was in town doing promotion. And there was only one bathroom upstairs. I had the goggles on and the glasses. Leo was coming down the stairs. I think he may have been a little bit tipsy. Right. Looked at me. He said, what is all this? Grabbed my goggles, pulled them, and let them go. They broke my glasses, <laughs> cut my nose, and then he laughed and walked away. What is your favorite NSYNC song that you cannot wait to sing on our tour? Um, well. Tell me why. Well, yeah, you wish. It was Nipplegate for sure. Uh, yeah, okay. before Nipplegate happened. I hate AJ because he sang more lines than me in any time that I've ever sang in my group. You are written off. This is a doozy, uh -oh. humdinger, Humming. head scratcher. Go for it. Hey, I'm Joey Fatone. I'm AJ McLean. And we are going to be spilling, spilling the EC e e burn him. Yeah, you ready to be spilling it? Spill it. All right. Let's go. What was your first impression when you met me first? Like, I, I don't know. We, we, we kind of just gelled. Like, you just had a really kind of outgoing personality. Like um, I did see you perform at Universal. Right, yes. I was just a, a, one of those local Orlando, Florida performers yeah. at theme parks. Yeah, but you Isn't had it? a really like very inviting personality and you had a great voice. But you know, I, I, th I thought you were more of an actor. I didn't yeah. know you were, you know, gonna end up doing what you did. Performing. Okay, what was your first impression of me when you first met me? What's wrong with this guy? No, 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 no. I was like, man, the voice is cool as shit. It's smooth, sexy, slick, but he's got his weird edge, and some of the things are dope, and then one or two, I'm like, what is he wearing? Or what is yeah. he doing? Some like, on point, dope, love the glasses, like the pants, look at the shoes, what is up with his head? He went leopard on us. Or what? the goggles. The or goggles. The, well, that was you and Chris's thing. Though. But but Chris wore the goggles by himself. I had the goggles and the glasses. Right. <laughs> Funny story, funny story. I don't know if I ever told you this story. Uh -huh. So we were in London. It was the opening night of a restaurant club type place. Mm -hmm. Titanic had just come out and Leo DiCaprio was in town doing promotion. And there was only one bathroom upstairs. I was walking up. I had the goggles on and the glasses. Leo was coming down the stairs. I think he may have been a little bit tipsy. Right. Looked at me. He said, what is all this? grabbed my goggles, pulled them, and let them go. They broke my glasses, <laughs> cut my nose, and then he laughed and walked away. Cut to, I see him many years later, Howie and I saw him at the SNL 40th. Right. And he gets in the elevator, he had just done the, we did. the, uh, we the uh, Revenant. Yep. And Howie's like, dude, now's your chance, get him back, get him back. And Leo goes, AJ, good to see you, man. I'm like, hey, good to see you, buddy. He's like, this is my mom, and I'm like, oh. Man, <laughs> that was my chance, but not not in front of dear old Right, mom. right, you can't do that. Oh, yeah, that was sucked. Is there a Backstreet Boys song you wish NSYNC had sang instead? Of course. I happen to like Quit Playing Games. That's one of my favorite ones. Quit playing games with my heart. The Rain video. See, I wasn't really excited about the video. A lot of people weren't excited about that. Well, a lot of the young girls, girls were. were but girls were. I just, I couldn't see myself. We weren't the type of guys in our band that could take our shirts off or have the water and do this. Yeah. It wasn't, we weren't, I didn't, I tried. It was Nipplegate for sure. It was definitely <laughs> a thing. Yeah. What is your proudest accomplishment with NSYNC? Wow. That's a lot. I think the major one, I think, was probably one of the first times we won one of the awards, like an MTV award. Mm. Just even award shows, just, you know, it's always that nervousness. But it's always funny because I think, well, actually, you know what? One of the ones that were really iconic was the MTV awards with the TV screens. Yeah. That's something I always remember that was just something that I, you know, iconic that I that I love and was some sort of a pinnacle moment, I think. That was a great so, performance. That's awesome. Super Bowl's another great freaking one, which is great. I knew you guys did the Disgust Wrangle Battle, don't you? We did the uh, anthem, that? yeah, which, which is, is awesome. Way too. more nerve wracking, I that think, than a halftime show. That is way more nerve wracking than halftime show, 100%. You mess up the banner, yeah, you're, done. It. you're it. done. You're done. It. You're done. You're <laughs> done. You are written off. When you look back, is there a particular moment or thing that makes you cringe? Our outfits back in the day cringe. Certain hairstyles cringe. 
I cringed for you guys with certain, <laughs> with certain hairstyles. I was like, oh, why are you doing that? I mean, I didn't go too crazy. I did really mostly red. There was one time I thought it was a cool idea to put my hair in front and go low, and I did it for, I think, for SNL, and we did the acapella, and it just looked awful. I thought she knew my world revolved around her. I feel like Chris and Justin got it the worst because you had ramen, ramen. versus pineapple yep. head, and, like, that was just... I mean, you had the girl from Ozark, yeah. And you had pineapple head. Yes. <laughs> Basically, yes. You had you had Ruth. Ruth. And then I you had, had Dole. What yeah. do you think the biggest misconception about the Backstreet Boys and the InSync rivalry rumors? The media is the ones that really depicted that whole thing. It was kind of made up, but it was made up based on some facts, which was same producer, right, right, same right, label, right. same management. Five guys, five other, guys, five right? guys. Why do we hate each other? If we didn't do a certain thing, you guys did it and vice versa. So, you know, it was this whole <laughs> facade that was never yeah. true. But it's like, how many times do you have to say it? Like, no, <laughs> we never hated each other. We always, we kind of stayed I in our just, own lanes. I hate AJ because he sang more lines than me in any time that I've ever sang in my group. That is why I'm so mad at them. Sorry about that. It's my, my bad. What is something you have always, always wanted to ask me? Hmm. So was it because you couldn't color it that you penciled it in, or you penciled it because you wanted the sharp edges when you were younger, when you had the mustache? It, so there, there was like right here, it would be very thin on one side, thicker on the other. But I was impressed at the mere fact that I could shape the, the mustache thin and then go to the thicker goatee. Gotcha. Real thin sideburns. You just started getting creative. What can you tease about InSync's new song on Justin Timberlake's new album? Joe let me actually uh, listen to the song today, and it is it is a really it's a really it makes you feel really good. It's, like, it's a it, good feel. It makes you feel. It kind of gives you a lot lots of the feels. Kind of like as if InSync were to go to the next step if they were going to go travel and do a tour or do music. What would the music sound like? What would it be? Or if you never stopped at all. Or never stopped. Exactly. But that this would be the, the, the next probably song and direction, I, I would say. I'm not going to lie. Listening to it, I was like, this is, we would sound really good singing this song. Oh, no. Trust me. We'll I was like, damn it. it. We'll throw it in there. All right. throw it in the show. Hey, man. Why not? <laughs> uh, will InSync ever there it is. go out on a new tour and release a new full album, damn it? Well, good <laughs> luck, everybody. Um, you know what? Never say never. Of course, there's new song. I don't know about new music. You know what? I just... It's one of those things of, of, you know, let's see what happens. We're, we're, we're trying to figure out what's going to unfold. What's the next chapter? Obviously, Justin has his own album. He's going to be doing his tour. Whether or not we're going to get together, I'm not 100% sure. But that's that's a question that we honestly will sit down and have a conversation, which we honestly have yet for the five of us to sit down and have that conversation. But if the stars align and, you know, it's just right and, you know, the, the solar eclipse of the heart comes somewhere or some other crap like that, it's a possibility, but I just, you know, it's one of those things of what, you know, where everybody's head's at, right. you know? And I think, I think it's, for me, I can only speak for myself, I think it's a great time to do something if we were able to. In lose control, give me the right, feel it tonight. Tell me about your new single, Home Electric, because I know about it, but tell everybody else about it <sighs> and about the new music that you have coming out. Electric, to me, is, I'm a huge fan of, like, 80s funk. I love anything throwback. It's in kind of an homage also to the roller skating community, which is, just blown up, it's continuing to grow, it's massive. <laughs> it's just a feel good record. It makes you wanna move, it makes you feel good. You don't wanna skip it, and that's what electric is. There's no denying these two are electric. You can hear AJ's new single along with a bunch of the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC's greatest hits on AJ and Joey's A Legendary Night Tour, which kicks off Friday. So What is your favorite NSYNC song that you cannot wait to sing on our tour? Um, well, Tell me why. Well, yeah, you wish. Um, I do love singing this, I promise you. Till the day when life is through, this I promise you. I would like, like I said, I want to I wanna add Digital Get Down okay. to the show. It's, my, it's one of my favorites. Digital, digital get down. Get down. What are you most looking forward to when we start touring together? 
I'm looking forward to the kind of spontaneity that is this tour, this show. The fact that we can literally flip the script on people nightly and just trying new things and experimenting, especially with this first round of shows before the additional 20. We want to go everywhere with this thing. And, I, and honestly, I mean, we're getting hit up from Brazil, from Australia, from Europe. Germany. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a blast. Again, it, it, this is something that I think we get a chance to do that we've never got a chance to do with our respectable groups. Yeah. Or, you know, it, we can do stuff individually. But for me, I'm always the same way. I'm always a team player in that sense of just performing. So for me, if I can perform with somebody like yourself, yeah. it's awesome. No, it's great.